by Jenny Henpine, City of Stanford Food Scrap Recycling Program volunteer, and I'm, I'm going to talk to you today about um, proper use of your pails and some quick tips for you guys. So for using these pails, just wanted to let you know that the lid of the uh, smaller countertop pail is perforated on purpose to allow for airflow and decrease stinkiness of your food scraps. You do not need to line your pail, but many people choose to do so just for cleanliness and ease of cleaning. So I wanted to show you what you need to purchase because bags are no longer mandatory in the program. You will need to purchase compostable bags. It has to say the word compostable on it. You can purchase these bags anywhere on the web, such as the largest retailer on the web, all available. I personally have multiple size bags so that if I'm cutting a large item like a watermelon that has a lot of rind or a lot of, uh, a lot of disposable material, then it's just easy to take that and throw it right into my uh, pail. Please note that you do not need to use our pails for the program. Many people choose to purchase pails at Home Depot, uh, they'll just use um, Tupperware, some people will freeze their um, food items, so it's really up to you how you want to do this. We just do this for your convenience, but there is no mandatory requirement to use, our, uh, to use our equipment. And to let you know, we do have a hose at the recycling center that you can clean your pail out with when you're finished so you can bring a nice clean bucket home. Thanks for participating.